7 on Channel 4. Take a nostalgic look back at TV's cartoon super salesmen today on PM Magazine. These animated characters made their products famous and became cartoon stars at the same time. But naturally, we want to make the big time. Then meet actress Sybil Shepard. She'll talk candidly about the ups and downs of her love life and her career. I'm a survivor. And we'll meet one of the Twin Cities' most popular chefs. She's Leanne Chin, known throughout this area for her delicious Chinese cuisine. Good afternoon and welcome to Pia Magazine. I'm Steve Doyle. And I'm Pat Brown. And this afternoon, Steve and I are visiting the new International Center in downtown Minneapolis, home of the newest Lian Chin Chinese cuisine restaurant. In fact, we'll be speaking with Leanne a little bit later on in the show. Indeed, we will. But in the uh, 1970s, Sybil Shepard was a top model, but a flop actress. She made 11 films and uh, got bad reviews for most of them. So she went back home to Memphis, married a used car salesman, and settled into the country life. Then last year, she came back to co-star in The Yellow Rose. Now, that series was canceled, but she has a new series, and this just may be the success that she's been looking for. Here's our Dale Harimoto with a story. Quiet, please. Rule it. Action. Ah, yes, the glamour of showbiz is still one of the most sought-after dreams in the world. Well, about 15 years ago, that dream came true for a young and beautiful Sybil Shepherd. It took her from Memphis to modeling all the way to the silver screens of Hollywood. But for Sybil, starting at the top was the beginning of a career with more ups and downs than a roller coaster ride. I did a movie where I got horrible reviews. After getting great reviews, then I did another film. Terrible reviews. I mean, critic actually said I couldn't walk or talk, much less sing. And it was just like being destroyed. And then right after that, I got taxi driver. So I've learned, you know, it's just a matter of time. Sybil's beginning at the top all started in 1968 when she became model of the year. She was immediately recognized as a potential top model, and seemingly overnight, she became a glamorous cover girl for the likes of Vogue, Glamour, and Life magazine. This was the start of life in the fast lane for a young and innocent Sybil Shepherd. I got most attractive in school, but I grew up not thinking I was beautiful at all. And even as a model, I didn't really feel that I was, like, really beautiful or anything. And what kind of a person were you when you were that model of the year in 1968? I was very bent on trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I felt that I had an artistic temperament, but I didn't know where, how to express that. And I was just trying to find out what talent I had, and then um, I never took an acting lesson before I did my first movie, The Last Picture Show. Sybil's lack of acting experience took her down many avenues, one of which was her highly controversial relationship with top Hollywood director Peter Bogdanovich. Sybil's photo on the cover of Glamour magazine caught Peter's eye, and that landed her the role in The Last Picture Show, her first break in the movie business. But apparently, when you arrive at the top by invitation rather than by graduation, it can be disastrous. And for Sybil, that it was. Okay, once again, I'm sorry. That was, that was not our fault. Not your fault. That I don't want to in the new comedy series Moonlighting, Sybil plays a one-time top model who inherits a detective agency. And with co-star Bruce Willis, they've created a chemistry that has what it takes. She's great. I remember the, the first day that I met her, I was, I was excited. I was going, kong, 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 you know, and that kind of stuff. Is, um, it's exciting, you know. She's, she's done some, you know, some good stuff. She's, the, she's, she's one of those gorgeous straight men I've ever seen in my life. I can do anything if you'll just give me a chance. Unbutton that. Excuse me. These days, Sybil is living on her own in Southern California, and she has her fingers crossed that Moonlighting will have a happier ending than some of her earlier projects. But either way, she believes she'll end up right where she started, at the top. There I am, all right. I'm a survivor. I think that's the only way to get even, Sur survive them all. Let's put a little motion in the ocean, kid. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing, do what did it, did it, dum, did it do. She looked good. She looked fine. So far, the ratings for Moonlighting have been good, but the cast is still waiting to hear whether the show will be picked up for a new season. Up next, we'll meet the first lady of Chinese cuisine here in the Twin Cities, Leanne Chin.
To those whose lives are filled with all the stimulation they need, we offer Pepsi Free, made with absolutely no caffeine. The only stimulating thing about it is that exhilarating Pepsi taste. Caffeine Free, Pepsi Free, because life is stimulating enough. Available in regular and diet. This is Bill Ashford on behalf of the Ashford Wildenauer Chiropractic Clinics. No, chiropractic can't cure everything but it's a particularly effective response to job injuries and problems brought on as a result of automobile accidents. The whiplash syndrome is an excellent example. If you've been in an accident or experienced problems involving pain or stress, please do feel free to call for an appointment. We maintain office hours from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and are pledged to a policy of accepting only those patients we sincerely believe we can help. I am using the new FM radio station, Magic 108. It's all music and all love songs. Magic 108 plays more music. More Neil Diamond, Streisand, Mathis, Kenny Rogers. And a lot less talk. Try it tomorrow. The new Magic 108 at 108 FM. You know what Louis Rich did? They took turkey and made it into bologna. Bologna that tastes like bologna. And ham that tastes like ham. Salami, hot dogs, all from naturally lean turkey. So they're up to 95% fat free to help me stay fit. Perfect for a small snack. Daddy! With Lewis Rich Cold Cuts, you can eat light. It took Lewis Rich to make turkey. Or bite. So right. <laughs> Afternoon, I'm Don Shelby with the WCCO Television News Update. Charges may be filed today in a double killing overnight at a St. Paul bar. One victim was reportedly in an argument. The other was hit with a stray bullet. The state says revenue projections are up. That could have an influence on legislators as they consider tax cut proposals. And here's some of the up and down weather. Sunny and 70 yesterday, cold and rainy today, 70 again tomorrow. Minnesota had its very best. Please join us tonight on the 5, 6, and 10 p.m. reports. PM Magazine. When Leanne Chin came to America from her native China, she knew no English, but was a talented seamstress and an even better cook. Today, there are now three Leanne Chin restaurants, and she's known throughout the country for her Chinese cuisine. Join us now as we discover more about her fascinating life story and also learn some of her secrets to Chinese cooking. When she came to the United States some 30 years ago, Leanne Chin spoke no English, was a mother of five children, and a woman of few choices. Today, she is the Twin Cities' most popular Chinese chef, the owner of two elegant restaurants, and purveyor of Chinese culinary skills she inherited from her father. My father uh, owned a restaurant in Canton, China. And when we had dinner, it's just not eating dinner, he's literally all the time growing up, not any, not just eating. What are you eating? What's healthy? And what's a uh, uh, person to eat? Here in America to help make ends meet, Leanne began in her home a small but successful business as a seamstress. When I was sewing, I entertained my customers and uh, have dinner for them and and I was cooking when they come, and I always give recipes and show them how to uh, cook Chinese food. So this suggests I should teach cooking. At first, and I said, oh, I don't know if I, I could. But, and they said, well, OK, start with us. Good morning, ladies. I'm going to show you how to stir fry today. Leanne oh, began to give fry. private lessons and soon was teaching fry. 10 classes a week. We're going to have some shrimp. The shrimp is shelled it and wash and dry always keep it nice and dry and the vegetable is wash and dry and slice at home and through the creative learning center in edina leanne would teach some 5,000 students the fine but relatively simple art of chinese cooking leanne's reputation as a chinese cooking instructor and caterer spread and to handle the increased business and to pay for the expensive kitchen equipment she has opened two beautiful contemporary Chinese restaurants, the first in Bonaventure and now here in St. Paul's Union Depot. 
Unlike other Chinese restaurants, Leanne schools her chefs personally in her philosophies and methods. She draws up the menus herself, as well as the products to buy, and wherever possible, inspects the finished food. And I think the next, next batch you have to make quite a bit more, it's getting busier. Sharing the secrets of her cuisine that have made her, thanks to the General Mills Betty Crocker cookbook series, a nationally acclaimed chef. Well, it's recipe time, and Leanne is going to show me one of the specialties of the house. What is it, Leanne? Shrimp toast. Shrimp toast, okay. That's the recipe I learned I was in China. Good, and the ingredients are fairly simple. We need some bread, some shrimp, sesame oil, some chopped scallions, flour, cornstarch, one egg, and some salt and pepper. First thing you have to do is cut the crust off the bread. Okay. And cut into a quarter. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Oh, what next? Next, you have to slice the shrimp. Before you slice them, this has been washed and dry. Mm -hmm. No water at all. All right, Liam, we have all the shrimp chopped. Now what? Okay, you add all the ingredients, all mixed together. Okay. When all the ingredients are added, mix them together. So that's mixed up well enough? Yep. Then, on each quarter of bread, place two or three pieces of shrimp, just so. Done. The oil has been heated for about 350 degrees. It put them in, it takes about a minute until golden brown. And you turn them over and flip them a couple of times. After about a minute, or when golden brown, remove from the oil and drain on a paper towel. And here we are, shrimp toast in just uh, two to three minutes. Time for a taste test. Delicious. Very good, very easy. Thank you. By the way, if you'd like that shrimp toast recipe that Leanne just shared with us, please send a stamped self-addressed envelope to Pia Magazine in care of Leanne Chin, 90 South 11th Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Our zip is 55403. Next, take a sentimental journey down a supermarket aisle when we salute some favorite commercial characters. I'm 32 years old. And I love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Brave adults are coming forward to challenge the notion that Frosted Flakes is just a kid's cereal. I know there's a tiger in the box. I like the taste, okay? Because you love them as a kid doesn't mean you can't love them as an adult. One day, our neighbors saw the package on the table. And we don't even have children. With that extra crunch in milk, that frosting just right, that taste is great as ever. <laughs> well, they've always been my favorite. So dig in. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. During Plywood, Minnesota's annual spring sale, buy a kitchen and get the countertop free. You betcha, Ken, a free Formica top with any complete kitchen. Select a Marillat kitchen built with quality and lasting beauty. Many styles are in stock. And the countertop is free. Save up to 20% on Mannington's Lustercon, Aristocon, and Boca floors. Mannington's JT88 Never Wax Wear Finish is great for the kitchen. Beautiful floors that never need waxing. Plywood, Minnesota's annual spring sale. Number one, because we give value. Have you heard the myth that shampoos can only clean hair? For over 50 years, I've been formulating shampoos that not only clean, but moisturize and add thickness and sheen to the hair. Nexus Therapy Shampoo helps make your hair silky, shiny, and glowingly alive. Therapy is a thick, luxurious shampoo enriched with selected botanicals. Whether your hair is dry, thin, brittle, or oily, Nexus has a shampoo that's just right for you. Ask for your free trial size of Nexus Therapy Shampoo at these fine salons. I sure like having my grandchildren for a few days. It's so nice to see them growing and changing. But each one of us is different. And that's what's so nice about families. Country hearth breads are like that. They have a whole line to choose from, all starting with the same good ingredients, but no artificial preservatives. Like the stone ground wheat Grandpa and I eat. Or the butter white I buy for the boys. They're a nice family to have around. Country hearth breads, from our family to your family. Magazine. When you think of the top TV pitchmen, people like uh, Bill Cosby for Jell-O or Carl Malden for American Express come to mind. But some of the most successful pitchmen weren't even human. Here's our Donna Hamilton with a look back at the most memorable cartoon commercial spokesman. I'm the lookout. I give the warning if Ray Dish shows up. Over the years, this animated can has sold a lot of bug spray for Johnson Wax Company. Ray! 
The Jolly Green Giant started like this, and his ho-ho-ho'd his way into a successful pea pusher. We're the Campbell Kids. And no one sells soup like these two chubbets. And it's brew, brew, good. No doubt about it, the Campbell's kids are probably the most famous corporate characters to make the Fortune 500 list. But if you ever stop to think about it, when you go grocery shopping, you're not just buying food. You're buying a whole cast of characters. Some from my childhood, like Elsie the Cow. Peter Pan was always one of my favorites. And everybody grew up with Quaker Oats. I remember when this fella used to star in their commercials. Of course, there's some new faces around, too. The Hawaiian Punch fella isn't all that old. And now the Smurfs have a brand new cereal as well. But did you ever stop to wonder why you would buy a tuna recommended by a fish or a cleaner recommended by a human printer imitation? Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Charles Goldschmidt knows the timeless value of a good corporate character. His Madison Avenue agency, Lawrence Charles and Free, is responsible for turning a Gloucester fisherman into a recognizable product logo. He knows that these guys can help you where you need it most. I, I think most cartoon characters are designed to sell reliability and confidence. If you're going to use a cartoon character, it's got to... It's got to come off real fast what it is you're trying to say. And because a lot of animated characters have done their job, we go into uh, the store with positive symbols that we're not even aware of. Meet Mr. Clean. Dr. Mr. Clean has been confidently selling himself as a tough, reliable product, and we've believed him. With an earring and a shaved head, his looks might cause controversy if he were introduced today. But a winning 25-year sales record and a forceful personality has kept him from having to change much over the years. Mmm, good! On the other hand, subtle change has been the key to the Campbell Kids' 80 years. Though they don't work as much as they used to, a full-time artist keeps them up to date. They've been adapted to various races, and you may have noticed they've slimmed down recently. Campbell's vice president of advertising, Paul Mulcahy, thinks they're pretty healthy. There is kind of a warm, friendly feeling toward these kids that does rub off on the company. It's, a, it's a, developed a reservoir of goodwill over the years for Campbell Soup Company, and the kids have contributed to that. If sales drop or a character's usefulness is outlived, they can easily end up in the corporate doghouse. Oh, N E S T L E S, Nestle's makes the very best chocolate. After a memorable career, Jimmy O'Day and his faithful friend Farfel were permanently sent into orbit. The Nestle company felt they were a little too old-fashioned for the changing tastes of the 1960s. Another character who was relegated to the corporate backroom was Speedy Alka-Seltzer. In 1963, he was busy leading his company to new heights in sales. But Miles Laboratory felt that his charm had worn off and switched their advertising to live-action commercials. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. But Charlie the Tuna was one who was able to stand the test of time. He's virtually the same today as he was when he was introduced in 1961. But naturally, we want to make the big time. Charlie's creators say that he's lasted so long because his situation is always fresh and new, yet he continues to remain undaunted. Hey, watch this. Hey. Cute. Cuddly. Effective. Strong. Confident. They're all endearing personality traits, and these characters are designed to make you think just that. Now, if you remember that when you're in the grocery store, then these characters are doing their jobs, in which case you'll probably be seeing them for a long time to come. Turning to our People page, let's meet the youngest mayor in the country, 12-year-old Brian Zimmerman from Crab, Texas. In the election, I had 80% of the vote. No, not that many cared about my age. It didn't matter that much to them. No, he's not the new student council president. He's the Honorable Brian Zimmerman, mayor of Crab, Texas. His honor is only 12 years old, but that doesn't stand in his way, and it doesn't seem to bother the citizens of this tiny East Texas town. Hello, Mr. Jones. Are you Richard Butter? Yeah. People in Crab are nice enough to talk to you. I mean, even if they can't stand you, they're nice enough to talk to you. Hey, thanks a lot, Mr. Jones. Okay. Crab is a small community just south of Houston on Farm to Market Road 762. This is a main drag. 
And here's downtown. This itty bitty city has a population of about 60 people and covers about six square miles. His honor the mayor covers those miles in his own special built limousine. Brian doesn't receive a salary and the city doesn't even pay for his gas. He has to work it off at the only combination grocery store beer joint and crab about three hours a week. Well, he's probably the only 12 year old at Lamar Middle School with a part time job. Well, heck, he's the mayor. Brian has been barraged with the media. He's been the subject of over 80 interviews, and he was even invited to a mayor's conference in France. Since taking office, he has paved a road and has just about every registered voter signed up for incorporation. My main thing to do after incorporation is to establish better security and a fire protection basis in Crab, plus to pay some roads and try to get some industry into Crab. By the way, I've been trying to get a hold of the people that can get the GM's new Saturn Corporation that makes cars, small cars, that is, Toyotas, to co consider Crab for an area. Hey, don't laugh. So he has high hopes. Remember, he's not your standard 12-year-old. Brian meets with his steering committee about once a month, or when Crab feels a growing pain coming on. The first time I ever had a meeting, I mean, I had invited people, and, you know, you don't ex actually expect them to really be there to listen to what you've got to say, but sure enough, people came. Unlike most mayors, there is no first lady in Brian's life, but he's got mom and dad. He is looking forward to seeing the world, I guess, through, uh, through his own eyes instead of listening to what somebody else has to say. He's serious about it. Like he says, he does it for the people. Brian Zimmerman, the king of crab. Does this precocious youngster see the presidency lying in his path? I'm not sure about what the future holds for me, but as far as the near future is concerned, I believe I should just take one step at a time, and there will always be future to wonder about. If Brian reaches his goal, he'll lose his job. He can legally be mayor because the town is not incorporated. Now, if that happens, Brian will have to lose his seat. Up next, we'll find out how this guy built this sports car from a kit. Ten little Indians make a big mess. Rental cleaners, that's one way, I guess. But Regina's found a brand new way to clean carpets with a hot water spray. The Regina Steamer Carpet Cleaner. High traffic areas? Keep them clean. It's easy when you own a machine. The Regina Steamer Carpet Cleaner cleans whole rooms so deep, so fast, makes rental cleaners a thing of the past. For less than you ever thought you'd pay, clean your carpets a whole new way. The Regina Steamer Carpet Cleaner. Looking for a job, Mom? Very funny. Well, I am. Well, what's it this week, Laura? Marine biology? Why are we still hoping to be a star of stage and screen? Come on, Mom, it's a tough choice. Sure it's tough, and you can be anything you want to be. When you make a choice, what's right is what feels right. Diet Pepsi. You know, there's one choice I'll never regret. Politics? Mm-mm. Being a mother. Diet Pepsi, the one-calorie choice of a new generation. He asked Mary Lonsdale if she thought her denture cleanser could clean away cherry stain. Probably could. What about a stain of cherry and coffee? Perhaps. Or a triple stain of cherry, coffee, and tobacco? I don't think so. Then watch Extra Strength Effort and powerful Blue Action Formula work on a triple stain of cherry, coffee, and tobacco. It's clean everywhere between the teeth. I'm going to switch to Effident. Effident is now accepted by the American Dental Association. Effident removes even stubborn stains between teeth. Now you can have turkey. Oh boy, turkey! Any old night. Oh boy, turkey! Oh boy, turkey! With Lewis Rich, turkey's always right. Lewis Rich breast of turkey is carved whole from the bird, cooked for you. It's good, naturally lean, and there's more than enough for dinner tonight and sandwiches later on. Now you can have turkey. Oh boy, turkey! Any old night. It took Lewis Rich to make turkey. So right. Good night. A lot of car enthusiasts spend their time and money fixing up old cars. But Monroe Wayman had a better idea. You see, he built his own car from a kit, complete with pop-up headlights and an electric antenna, but it only had three wheels. Monroe wanted to try something a little bit different, but uh, he found out that he got a little bit more, or perhaps a little bit less, than he bargained for.
No, this isn't a car once driven by James Bond, a super high-tech car of the future, or even the first two-seater space shuttle. But it is a totally different street-legal tri-wheeler. Monroe Waymer of Orangeburg has put more than a little money into this car. He's also put in a lot of time because he built it himself. I always like to do something different, and this was a challenge to me. It was a challenge, all right. For $19, Monroe bought the plans for a tri-magnum, a three-wheeled car powered by a motorcycle. And after countless trips to the junkyard for parts, 700 hours of assembly, and a lot of modifications, Monroe finished his car. But it wasn't easy. The plans weren't as complete as he had hoped. And if you figured you had enough guts to try to make this car from their plans, and you could figure that out, the rest of it out by yourself. The parts include a wrecked Suzuki 750 motorcycle, a VW front suspension, a Subaru steering wheel, a windshield wiper from a 1950 vintage school bus, and the list goes on and on. Total cost, between $2,500 and $3,000. Since it weighs only 1,100 pounds, this three-wheeler gets nearly 40 miles to the gallon, and it doesn't lack speed. The Tri-Magnum will go from zero to 60 in seven seconds, and Monroe guesses the top speed is about 120 miles per hour, although he assures us he hasn't proven that fact yet. When one has a car like the Tri-Magnum, one has to expect stares and curiosity. Monroe is used to washing his car often just to get the handprints off. Oh, my. You get stares like someone going to kind of look like this and kind of... And then... And wow, you know, something like this, and they can't believe it. Well, now you can believe it. But don't expect to see another Monroe Waymer built Tri Magnum, not even for his wife. No, I'm not going to build her one. She'd have to ride with me. Well, Monroe says getting into and out of his car has been a little bit tricky, but otherwise it's pretty comfortable. Uh, he's driven it up to 75 miles away, and though it uh, could go anywhere, he doesn't drive it to work. Uh, he carpools, understandably. Kind of a creative guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Lee Ann Chin's restaurant here in the International Center is her third restaurant in the Twin Cities. This one is uh, basically the same as the other two, but she does have more of an emphasis here on appetizers and cocktails. Mm -hmm. And the new International Center has been completed since January. Now, this building is a 20-story first phase of a complex that will eventually include a 17-story and a 30-story office and commercial addition to the Minneapolis skyline. And I think you'll agree, it's a beautiful new building. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, Steve, I'm really glad spring is here because that means new clothes. New wardrobe. New spring mm -hmm. wardrobe. And tomorrow afternoon on PM Magazine, we'll find out what's hot for spring and summer. After 30 years of welcoming kids to his neighborhood, Mr. Rogers has become an American institution. But is he really what he appears to be on television? We'll meet the real Fred Rogers. And the Phantom Diner visits Rupert's new American Cafe in St. Louis Park. That's all the time we have on this Tuesday PM Magazine. Hope you join us tomorrow. We'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Good night. Stay tuned for the 5 p.m. report here on Channel 4. If you think all group dental plans pay for dental problems you had before joining the plan, think again. The only dental plan that was designed to cover pre-existing conditions is Delta Dental. Delta's goal? Long-term dental health for more Minnesota people, starting day one. It pays to keep your teeth in good biting condition.